Gary LaFontaine and Jack Dennis have joined up on a lot of adventures in their professional fly fishing careers. This time, we asked them to test their friendship by sharing the bench. We're going to be tying one of Gary's uh, patterns here. The creation they're taking on today is called the Twist Nymph. It's intended to simulate an emerging fly. Uh, I'm supposed to take my glasses off so I don't see it. So it'll be ugly enough. You're, you're too good a tire to actually be tying this. My flies have to be fairly ugly. All right, um, we're going to have a split tail of two pieces of uh, pheasant tail. You look at mayfly nymphs, they're alive. They have movement. They have translucency. They have the gills, the tails, the legs all of that moving and you don't want to have to imitate all those individual parts you just want to get the essence of life you now tie in the longest piece of pheasant tail hurl that you can find doesn't take much to make a great fly you want it on the tip nope i want you tied in by the base by the base okay. never by the tip on a, on a twist because it'll break it i'm bringing the thread right back okay okay hold it tail. hold it hold it jack i actually messed you up a little bit already uh, we don't want a black thread and I'll explain why in a moment. We want a fairly light colored thread. A yellow would uh, certainly no, be great. All right, now I want you to take uh, the BT's um, wax. BT's wax, okay. It's right there, right, right there. Front of me. Yep. And what this is, a BT. very tacky wax. Right. Super tacky. Yeah, super tacky. And run it on the thread. You're now gonna take yellow touch dubbing. We're gonna use a, a real special technique called double magic. We're gonna combine the magic of pheasant tail hurl and the magic of antra and this is the only technique to do that to do it you need to touch dub you cannot dub any other way you're going to just touch use your tacky wax and you touch to the thread your touch dubbing is going to be a little bit shorter than the piece of pheasant tail hurl it's not going to be longer than the pheasant tail hurl just a little bit shorter and you pick off a few clumps now make a dubbing loop the dubbing loop has to be a little bit shorter than the piece of pheasant tail hurl Okay, perfect length. Now you want to grab all that. Uh, you can use a dubbing tool, a loop tool. You can use uh, a hackle pliers. And now you have to twist all that together. Ooh, really nice. That looks great, Gary. That's, yep. the, that's the double magic. You get, all right, now we're and, and wrap it's, it. it's not a rib. You end up with the antron coming out an aura around the pheasant tail hurl. Now this is your abdomen, so wrap it about three quarters of the way up. Okay. okay, now we're going to have to tie in a wing case, case, and for that we're going to use six pieces of pheasant tail hurl. A touch dub with the olive right. instead of the yellow. Now you just wrap that as okay. your thorax. Okay. Now take your, your wing case, your fe mm -hmm. uh, pheasant tail hurl, tie it off. I'm pulling it forward, tying it off. All right, you want to wrap under the right. hurl a couple times. Right. We're not going to trim this off perfectly flush. You're going to leave a little you're going to leave the stubs hanging out over sure. the eye. Now whip finish it and you got the pheasant tail twisting. 